friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing my February wrap up for you all since it's pretty much already March and I should have probably had this up at the beginning of the month, but oh well. I read four books last month. <laughs> I may have misjudged how many buddy reads I was actually able to do because if you remember my February TBR I had at least like five six buddy reads planned <laughs> no those ended the way I wanted to but I did get through two well four so that counts right maybe I don't know but I also didn't really get through the TBR that I wanted to get through for February because last month, I don't really know, I think I just got overwhelmed slash busy with work and I just kind of slumped a little bit and my reading was just really off. So, yeah. But I'm at least glad that I was able to at least read four books that I pretty much enjoyed overall. So, the first book that I read in February was a buddy read that I was doing with Erin from Booked and Busy and it was our first buddy read and we ended up reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I gave this four stars. I loved this book. <laughs> it was just crazy because when this first hit like Twitter and people were talking about it, I was dead set. Like, I felt like I was gonna hate this book. I wasn't even gonna give it a chance. And then Kay from I Love Books Okay told me about it, like they read it and they loved it and they were talking about it and it just piqued my interest and I read it and I loved it. Granted, it's not the best book I've ever read, but I loved it so much because it was fun. Like the story was just so fun to read. Poppy and Hawk were so interesting to read about, especially Hawk. I think he was my favorite part of the story. And it was just a fun time. So I really can't fault this book for that. And I'm so excited to pick up the second one and the third one so I can see what happens next in this story because I just have so many ideas and I, I don't know, it's just so fun. <laughs> the next book I read was a buddy read that I was doing with Kay from I Love Books Okay and that was King's Cage, which is the third book in the Red Queen series. I gave this three out of five stars. I enjoyed it, but it just wasn't what I wanted it to be, especially where the first half of the book was just very slow. You really didn't get a lot of action going on because of circumstances that were surrounding where Mare was. But then the last half of the book is where it picked up, but I felt like it picked up too late for me to really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. So it's just a three star. It was just okay. I'm definitely excited to pick up the last book and just honestly finish but also see what happens next in the story. I will say Cal is like the most annoying character I've read so far in the past like two years. I cannot stand him. His decision making does not make sense to me and I'm just like bro what's up? I really just want to fight him, honestly. That's just where I'm at. And I'm not a fighter, so that's that's fun. The next book I read was A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow, Volume 1. I read this for RC's Manga Book Club. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really cute. It's a sapphic story about two girls falling in love. One of them just moved to this, like, coastal town. And they both kind of bond over the fact that they're really lonely people. So I am definitely excited to pick up the rest of the series and see what happens next. And just see how adorable it is. So definitely recommend if you're looking for a cute sapphic manga series. Alright, and the last book that I read was Make a Scene by Mimi Grace. I read this for 
Jessica Nicole Dickerson's book club, the Brown Girl book club. I helped co-host last month and I had so much fun doing it. I think I gave this book three stars. It was a pretty good romance, pretty fun and fast paced. So I definitely enjoyed that and I really liked the characters. I just felt like the story was really short. I would have liked more if that makes sense. So I think that's like why I could only give it three stars because even though I enjoyed it, I just felt like there could have just been more, I guess, to read in the story or more to know in the story. And there were just certain things within the plot that I was just kind of like, well, why is it that way or what happened here? And I was just kind of left wondering about certain things. So, but overall, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a cute black romance. So if you're looking for something short and sweet, I think this is a good fit for you. And um, thank you to Jess and RC for letting me co-host their book clubs last month. So that was my February wrap up. But yeah, if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that in the comment section down below. Let me know what book you really enjoyed reading in February or one you would recommend I would like, maybe that you read in February, I don't know. But uh, if you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.